In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install a sink soap dispenser, easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and looked at the to-do list. You looked at your sink, saw the liquid soap bottle, and said to yourself, this could look better. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. The first thing that we wanna do is verify that we have the correct home. Second, the correct sink. Because the last thing you want is to make your neighbor's spouse, partner, friend, or family member have instead of yours and you know clearly this is a joke so the first thing that we get in the box is barbecue paper I mean the owner's panel and we're gonna keep this one because it has nice pictures of where things go second we have the soap dispensing pump we're gonna take it apart to make the assembly a lot easier we're gonna remove the tightening nut and then we're gonna find two washers but we're gonna leave the first one in because this is the one that's gonna go on top of the sink next we have the plastic bottle container for the soap. Next, we have the straw that's gonna make your pump reach the soap in the bottle. And we wanna make sure that we install that. And this is where you show off your inserting skills. Clearly, when you play basketball or any major sport. And there are many sports out there and not all are televised. So basically, under the sink, what's gonna happen, we're gonna place the other washer, tighten with the nut, screw our bottle in, and that is how easy it is. But the catch is, you're gonna do all this, meanwhile, your body body breaks, bends, cracks in a small tight space under the sink. And not to mention dark, gloomy, humid, and you get the idea. In some soap dispenser kits, you're gonna have an extension tube like this one, which is gonna make life a lot easier. Also on the kit, it's provided a green cap, which is used to replace the cap on your liquid soap bottle. Instead of refilling the small bottle all the time, you can extend the tube all the way to your big bottle and leave it under under the sink. So that means it's like a two for one. Not only you already leave the bottle of soap under the sink, now it's connected to your soap dispenser. So it's doing two functions. So not only it's getting stored, but it's working at the same time. So now how are you gonna say that here at the Statterbox team, we don't help you get the neighbor's spouse happy. I mean, your spouse, your partner, your family member, or your friend. Hopefully the editor caught that glitch in the matrix. Now that we filled your brain with data, we're ready to get back to work. The first thing that we're gonna locate is the sinkhole on your sink. If you don't have one, our next video, we're gonna show how to make a sinkhole on your sink. And what we're basically going to do, we're gonna go to the dark side and remove the nut that holds the whole cap cover in place. We're gonna unscrew it. And remember the ancient technique of lefty loosey, righty tidy. Now that your sink has lost value and your spouse, family member, or friend is looking at you with doubt we're ready for the next step but don't worry you got this we believe in you we're gonna take our pump assembly and remembering having a washer installed we go ahead and insert it in the hole so now that you have two goals in the game we're gonna take off that smile off your face by going to the dark side we're gonna place our second rubber washer and then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it with the tightening nut and remember the ancient technique passed down generation to generation of lefty loosey righty tighty Having a helper like a Watson goes a long way. Now that our housing is tight, we can choose to install the straw two ways. The easiest way is just picking up the pump and installing it, or if you wanna go 1980s Rambo, you can install it from the dark side. Show the world that you're not scared. Now that our straw is installed, we're going for goal number three. We're gonna insert the straw in the bottle and we're gonna twist our bottle on the threads until we feel it tight. Remember being plastic, you don't want to over tighten. And now that this video went from a installation to a talk about the bees and the birds, we're ready for the next step. And this is optional. This is if you're going with the extension tube instead of the straw. You have two routes to install it, the easy way or the Rambo way. And the easiest way is just taking out the pump, connecting the extension tube, dropping it through the hole, then getting the tube on the dark side, removing your bottle's cap and installing the green rubber cap provided and inserting the 
the extension tool inside the bottle, making that goal number four. If you went that route, then you're done. But let's say you pick the traditional route, then we want to pick up the pump. And even though that you might feel that your mind is playing tricks on you, you're going to pour soap through the hole. And hopefully if everything is installed correctly, that soap, it's going to land inside the bottle. A pro tip, in some cases, some soap dispensers adding a little bit of water to make the soap less thick, it's going to help out to pump faster. But that's all going to depend on the thickness of your soap. And that's not in all of them, but it is a pro tip. Now we're going to pump our arms to glory. We're going to get the air out by pumping it until the soap comes out. And I guess for the fifth goal, you went manual. And now you've done it. You made soap rain everywhere in your household. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Statabox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.